Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is April 14, Tuesday in the octave of Easter. The gospel said, I am going to my father and your father. Let me read first and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were caught to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. Responsorial Psalm The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear Him, upon those who hope for His kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to John. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there. But she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. Reflection I am going to my father and your father, so stop holding on to me. That's what Jesus said. I am happy where I'm going. This is what was destined by God. So let me go. Stop weeping for me. When we have a parent who died, a relative, we tend to cry for long periods of time because we naturally miss them. But after our mourning period, what we should do is pray for their souls, because if they had asked for forgiveness and they were given extreme unction, then where the souls are going would surely be beside God, an abounding happiness that we would all want to experience. 
but if no such rite had been performed for them before they died, then we should concentrate on praying for their souls so that we can usher them into heaven. That's all for now. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.